Hi everyone, this is Anand Isaac, working as Assistant Professor in Sarvodhya College of Nursing, would like to demonstrate on IV cannulation procedure to first year and second year nursing students. Now, let us understand what is IV cannulation. IV cannulation is an invasive procedure where we insert an intravenous cannula into the vein. Next, let us understand about the purpose of IV cannulation. The purpose of IV cannulation is to administer medication, to draw blood and also to administer parental nutrition. Now let us see the articles required for IV cannulation. Now let us understand what are the articles required for IV cannulation. Firstly, a tray containing gloves of your choice. My glove size is 7 so I have taken 7 size glove and you have a tourniquet to tie around the arm and next you have an alcohol swab to clean the area of IV cannulation site and next you have primarily IV cannula for insertion and to fix the IV cannula we have an IV cannula fixator this is the fixator and next we have 5 ml syringe along with that we have a distilled water and we have pack of gauze pieces to clean if there is any blood spillage and to discard the soil spillage of gauze pieces we have a kidney tray. Let us start the procedure. Initially I need the help of one person to hold the hand here. Let me after doing hand washing I have gloved myself. And then since this is an aseptic procedure and washing is important now you have to hold the hand here one person come forward hold the hand now I'm going to tie the tourniquet okay okay now the tourniquet is tied now it's our duty to palpate the vein now i am palpating the brachial vein because we have taken the brachial approach now i can feel the vein very well now i am taking the alcohol swab as we know the purpose of taking the alcohol swab is to cleanse the area we have to go from the center to the periphery in a circulatory manner if you wish to go for the second alcohol swab you can go for it now it's time for us to take the preferred size IV cannula. I'm opening the IV cannula and I'm taking the preferred size according to the patient. This is a 20 gauge IV cannula. You have to remove the cap, keep it away. Now don't without touching the tip, it is the sterile part. You can see my hand, how it is. The index finger and middle finger or helping the supporting the top side and the thumb finger is supporting the counterpart of the IV cannula. Now at an angle of 30 degree, you are inserting the IV cannula half the way and you check for backflow of blood in the stillet. If it is not, then you have to adjust the axis after adjusting the axis you have to remove the cannula partially and advance the cannula completely after advancing can you see the blood coming through the stillet or the introducer here it, it has filled here now it's time for us to take a flush syringe or a syringe filled with distilled water you have to remove the tourniquet immediately after removing the tourniquet don't remove the stillet as long as you remove the tourniquet after removing that have two pressure two finger pressure over the vein and you have to put one gauze piece beneath the IV cannula after that you can remove the tourniquet I mean to say the stillet and then you fix the 
flush after fixing this you have to withdraw the withdraw for the blood so you can see the blood entering into the flush and then thereby you can flush the water some some of the water into that and then gradually you have to take the adapter from the IV cannula still it then after taking the adapter you have to disconnect the syringe and fix the adapter into this now the cannula is fixed it's time for us to secure the cannula with the help of this easy fix now so it will be difficult for us to fix this easy fix along with the gloves so for the convenient purpose I am removing the gloves and keeping it aside now you can take this easy fix you can fix it around the IV cannula like this and one more add-on elastic plaster is there so you can give that as a support beneath the cannula and this is how we throw the discard the used articles this is how we perform the procedure thank you all yes, sir.